In this lesson, we're looking at identifying linear inequalities. Example. The graph y equals x minus 2 is drawn. And we're asked to shade in the region where y is greater than or equal to x minus 2. Now, there's our inequality, y greater than or equal to x minus 2. The region that is required, well, we're going to consider these points on the top of the line, if you like, and these points below the line. Now, one of those sides of the line is going to be our required region. Now, let's just pick a point here, minus 3, 2. What we're going to do is substitute that point into the inequality. Okay, the x and the y. Remember, any coordinate has an x and a y value. So when we substitute, we'll get that. We're simply, we've replaced the y with the value of 2 and the x with the value of minus 3. Now, that inequality, let's see whether it's true or false. We simplify the right side and we get that 2 is greater than or equal to minus 5. And is that true or false? Well, that is true. Give it a tick. So we will give that point a tick on the number plane. Let's choose another point. This point here, 2 across, 4 up. So the coordinates 2, 4. We're going to substitute those coordinates into the inequality. So the 2 and the 4 are the x and y coordinates respectively. We substitute there. Okay, replace the y with 4. Replace the x with 2. Now simplifying that on the right, we get that 4 is greater than or equal to 0. Have a bit of a think about that. Is that true or is that false? Well, it is true. Yes, 4 is greater than 0, so give that a tick. Give the point a tick as well. Now, if we went through the same process with all of those points there highlighted, we would find that they all worked. They're all true statements when we substituted. So let's give them all a tick. Now, what about these guys below? These might be the baddies. Let's see. Let's substitute 3, negative 2, into the equation. So there we have it. y has been replaced with the minus 2. x has been replaced by the 3. Then, simplifying that, we get that minus 2 is greater than or equal to 1. Okay, on the right-hand side, 3 minus 2 is 1. Now, look at that. Is minus 2 greater than 1? No. Okay, it's not. So that is a cross. So that point there does not work in the equation there. If we checked out all of those points below the line, none of them would work. Okay, they would all give a false statement. So let's get rid of them. They're gone. So the region there that's shaded, all right, that's our required region. All of those points above the line would be in the region. Now we had the y is greater than or equal to x minus 2. So that is our region there. Now, we tested plenty of points, but it's enough to test just one point. And it's a good idea to check the origin, okay? The reason being because it's very easy to substitute 0, 0. So, for example, there, if we had a line there and we needed to work out the region, we would substitute that point, and if it worked, if the point 0, 0 was a, a true statement, then we would shade in this part of the graph. If, on the other hand, we had another question, there's our line. Again, we substituted the point 0, 0, and if it did not work, okay, if it led to a false statement, then we wouldn't shade this part, we would shade the other part. Alright, so that's how we identify which of the sides of the line needs to be shaded for the correct region.